lying scum. Now, Papa came up with this whole big secret bit to justify why he and his mistress ran off. And now he won't even tell us what the big secret is. Well, that's Catherine's fault. She stopped Martin from finally telling us the truth. Mama, there is no truth. Now, you knew that Paloma was growing up without her mother. You could have told her that you were her father. You could have told her that you were the reason that she was sent away. But no. You let her grow up feeling unworthy, bitter for being sent away. And now, now Paloma thinks that we don't love her, that we never wanted her. Why? You wanted her to believe those things so that she would love you instead. Es verdad. And now you've come back with an even bigger lie to justify why you abandoned us. There's some secret, some noble reason why you were forced to leave Harmony. That it wasn't just Alistair's threats. Pile it on, Pilar. Just pile it on. You led Mama to believe you were, you, were, you were a noble man. That there was a big secret as to why you left. There was no secret. You just ran off with this rich woman here. You know something? You're scum. And you know better than he is. There's so much that I still don't know, Mother. Things that I don't understand. But Luis and Pilar, they're just so angry. I am I... It is better than you did. Mark, it's time we go. We have to go now. Yeah, go. Why don't you go? Why don't you get the hell out of Harmony and never come back? No, wait. Wait. I want to hear you say why you left Harmony. Mama, please don't. Please, do and then. And then we'll decide whether it's true or not. Martin. You were about to tell us something, something that you claim is so important. You've kept it a secret since before you left Harmony with Catherine. Mama, please forget it. Okay, his secret is just a reason to try and get us to forgive him for making our lives hell for all these years. I, I want to be the judge of that. All right. So tell me, tell me this big dark secret, unburden yourself. Make us believe in you again, I dare you. Martin, don't. Catherine, please. What is it? Why are you so desperate to keep my husband from telling me the truth? Does his secret prove you to be even more selfish? An even worse mother than you already are? Think what you want, Pilar. We have to go, Mark. Yeah. Wait. Why are you stopping Martin from telling me the truth? Are you protecting yourself? No. Are you afraid that if he tells me the truth, I'll take him back and you'll lose him? What? Is that it, Mother? Martin, please, we have to go now. Stop telling my husband what to do! Louise asked us to leave. Yeah, you really should leave. Basta, mijo, por favor. Martin may have lived with Catherine in sin for the last 20 years. But the truth of the matter is in the eyes of God. Martin and I are still married. I am your wife. You are still my husband. So if my husband has something he wants to tell me, he can. Don't let her stop you from telling me something that I need to know. Something that will explain to me why you abandon us. Follow your heart, my husband, please. Please, tell me the connection between you leaving Harmony and Sheridan's nightmares, please. Please tell me. Tell me the real reason you left Harmony with Catherine. Tell me this secret that you've carried. Please. Oh. 
Come on, you're wasting your time here. First, he denied that there was a secret. Then he said there was a secret, and he clammed up. He couldn't tell us what it was. Now he says there's no secret. Come on, come on. Whatever he says now, it's bound to be a lie. If it is, we'll know. I don't think your father's going to lie to us. I think he's burdened by a secret. Aren't you? A secret that will explain to us once and for all why he left Harmony. A secret that will explain all about Sheridan's horrible childhood memories. A secret that obviously is a threat to Alistair. A secret that I need to know. I deserve to know. We all do. Don't be a fool. Gerald. Mark, don't. Stay out of it. Since I can't convince my mother that what you're about to tell us is a lie, go ahead and just tell us what you're going to tell us, and then please, get the hell out of harmony. Well, say what you have to say, and get the hell out. Take your mistress here with you. Don't do it, Martin. Keep your mouth shut. Luis, it's your phone again. Ignore it. But it keeps ringing. What if something bad has happened? Well, I don't care. I want to find out what's going on here so these two can get the hell out. Oh, my God. The hospital has called several times, and now Sam is calling. Hello? Pilar. I was calling Luis. Oh, hold on. He's right here. No, Pilar, wait. Um, look, I might as well tell you. Look, I have some bad news. It's about Paloma. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. No way this is the meal. No way this is. Mama, what is it? It's your sister. It's Paloma. Well, what about her? Oh, Luis, it's awful. She's in the hospital. Oh, God, I don't know. Oh, God. Sam said that. Sam said that. They think. They think that she was raped. Oh, my God. No, not my balloon. No. Your sister? Yeah. We have to go to the hospital. No. No. You stay away from Paloma. Not a chance in hell. She's my daughter. Yes. A fact that you kept from her her entire life. And she's forgiven me for that. Yeah, well, we haven't. You stay away from that hospital. Mama. No. You come with me, I'll drive. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Just pull the car on back. I have to go change. Paloma? Mi niña. Mi niña preciosa. Please. She looks so small and frail. So helpless. How is she? Weak, but stable for now. It's possible she has internal injuries as well. She was assaulted? Yes, but to what degree, we aren't sure yet. My God. Martin. This is all your fault. Oh, don't, Louise, don't say that, please. No, I've spent all my time dealing with your lies and the grief that you have caused my family. I haven't been here for the people who need me. I'll tell you something. You better get the hell out of Harmony. If we lose Paloma, I swear I'll kill you.